My older son was playing freshman football and he called me and said, Mom, could you, could you come and pick me up early? I'm done. He said, well, um, I got hurt and so they said I should go home that I, they think I had a concussion. And so we went home and that's what I knew. What I didn't know was that you know, the injury is like a bruise or injury to the brain. So I made him start doing his math homework thinking, you know, if you're not that hurt, you seem to be okay. Uh, that makes me really appreciate the opportunity to work with the U of M folks. So now we have uh, just a much better process on how to identify and deal with these things so that there aren't other parents who have to go through the feeling of just tremendous embarrassment for not even being close to handling it the right way. So we're conducting a study at Skyline High School uh, in, in Ann Arbor with the football team where we place sensors in the helmet that allows us to track the location and magnitude of every impact that occurs on the field. Information we're hoping to find out kind of the location and magnitude of impact it takes to cause a concussion so we can ultimately try to predict these injuries or prevent them through better equipment. This is a sensor that we use, uh, we place inside the football helmet. Each one of these red circles represents a single axis accelerometer that allows us to measure the change in velocity that the athlete will take. It fits inside of a typical football helmet. We don't have to change the padding of the football helmet at all. This data is from uh, a high school football game. This is our quarterback. Uh, each arrow that you see around the red head form is uh, an impact that he sustained during the game. So what we see here at the top are uh, very low magnitude impacts, while this one here right on the forehead uh, is a more substantial impact that he sustained. We really want to educate not only our, our coaches and our parents, but our kids as to what symptoms of concussions are so that they don't just keep it to themselves, particularly the boys. They, they want to keep it all to themselves because they don't want to come out of a game. And we've already chatted about doing the study again next year and how we can make some improvements and, and get better information and, and work more uh, easily with him and, and provide him a better opportunity to monitor our kids.